I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clay and Fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K22. And we're going to continue with Pop Pop, but I am going to make a little change. We did win an NBA championship last season. We're going to change things up a little bit here. Eric Steele has a one year contract. So we're going to do one more year with this team. We're going to run it back one more time. After this season's over, we're going to let Eric Steele walk and we're going to let AJ Cox walk. And really, I'm just going to rebuild the team again because, you know, like I said, we had some uh, we had some G League cheese, and I don't want to do that this time around. I want to actually rebuild this team from the ground up. No expansion draft. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to build through free agency at all. I'm literally just going to build through the NBA draft. That's the only people that are going to be on our team. And let's see if we can actually build an NBA champion straight off of draft picks. All right, so the season is over. Cade Cunningham is your MVP. Boris Marion is your Rookie of the Year. Jaden Hardy, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, Defense Player of the Year. Most Improved, Terry Bailey. Victor Chambers, Coach of the Year. And Christian Bartlett is the Executive of the Year. All right, so first team, no brawlers. Second team, no brawlers. Third team, no brawlers. All defensive first team, none. Eric Steele made all defensive second team, and that's it. Not a very good year as far as awards go for us. We are the two seed in the East. Let's take a look at the standings real fast. Damn, we finished 12 games back. That is not good. We're going through our own last dance. Simulate the playoffs. Yep. We... We lose to a seven-seeded Philadelphia 76ers. What a joke. Zion, of course, overpowered on this game. OP as hell. So let's head on into the draft lottery. I don't know if we have any draft. Oh, we do. Okay, so right now, we're looking at the seven pick via the San Antonio Spurs. So this will be a, this will be a great start heading into my rebuild as far as like I said we're just rebuilding through the draft no free agents if we do have to get a free agent it's gonna be someone that was drafted and, and let go in the second like when you draft a second rounder and you decide eh, you know I don't really want him those are the only guys we're gonna get if we can't draft enough people to fill a roster so we're gonna need a lot of draft picks this year hopefully we have the means to do so uh, up to this point everything is what it was supposed to be and knowing my luck it's gonna be us right here okay so the blazers jump into the top four and the brawlers so we're in the top four also cool all right so we got a top four pick and then there were three the reporter says here we go don't be us please let's go okay we got a top two pick this is big right here. The Rockets and the Brawlers. Please, please, please be Rockets. Let's go, man. We won the lottery. That's what I'm talking about. We finally get the number one pick. Look at that. The Brawlers have had the most lottery picks in the NBA since 2019 was seven. Where did all of our lottery picks go? Did I just trade them all away? I don't even remember. And there it is. And we have the 19th pick as well. And the 29th pick. So we could maybe somehow package that 19 and 29 pick and maybe a piece and move up and to have another pick in the top five. We're going to do this. We're going to trade to the Nashville Stars for their 21st pick this year. And they get two first rounders and we get their first rounder next year. So that's four first round picks in the draft. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six picks in this year's draft. I think that we could find a way to field a, to field a team we have to have 15 players. So we would need 15 we would need 15 picks to field a whole team. 
Let's see if we can do this. Approximately 10 hours later. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trade for two first round picks. And there we go, we're set, we're ready. Let's take a look at the big board, wherever that is. Where's the big board? Am I missing? Scouting, yeah. Mock drafts, okay. Jimmy Towns, power forward. Seven foot tall. His ceiling is AC green. Oh no. Oh no. Eddie Johnson. Ty Lawson. Is this the worst draft in NBA history? Is that is that what I'm looking at right now? Steven Adams? Oh no. We'll go get a new head coach. But we're going to be nice to Jacob because he won us an NBA championship when Michael Stauffer couldn't. I appreciate all the hard work you've done for our organization. But at this point in time, I think it's better if we go our separate ways. That's really disappointing to hear, but there's no ill will on my end. I'll always look back fondly on the time I spent with this organization. Yeah, you got a, you got a championship ring because of it. You, you should be happy. The players aren't happy, which is weird because we don't have any players on our freaking team. So how's the player morale going down? That makes zero sense. NBA draft, let's get on into it. Here we go. This is going to be a long process. The Bronx Brawlers are now on the clock. You received 24 trade offers for your next pick. Would you like to view them? Why not? I mean, I'm probably not going to accept any of these trades. Could get Ja Morant. Hmm. Interesting. Don't care. I mean, I really could just build a freaking... I could build probably the greatest team of all time with all these picks. I'm not going to lie. I could get Shea. I could probably get Ja. I could get Anthony Davis more than likely. Maybe that's what I want to do. Nah. Nah. I'm not going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to just drafting right now. So Jimmy Towns, you better be good, buddy, because you are the number one pick. Not only is Towns' wingspan a 7'9", the longest among all bigs, it's the longest in the entire draft class. That's what I like to hear. Frederick McGuire, 78 overall. We're going to go ahead and get him. So we're gonna, we got some twin towers going on right now. We got our one pick and our two pick. We're going to play them at the four and the five. Is the brawler selection of Frederick McGuire any indication of what they think their chances are of re-signing free agent Eric Steele? We don't want we don't want Eric coming back. Eric's old news. We're on the clock again. Oh yeah, we do have the three pick, don't we? We'll get Sergey Titov. Showed his range at the draft combine by making more college threes. Thirty nine of fifty. Thirty nine of fifty. Simon Lane goes to the Spurs. Okay. Let's go ahead and make another. We'll go ahead and get Knee Hat. Actually, let's get Jerry Patton. From Dayton. I'm liking this. I'm liking this team. Jerry Patton is going to fill a need for the Brawlers. I think there were still better players available, but you can't fault the team here for plugging a hole. Thanks, Rob Mahoney. We're taking Knee Hat. I don't care. We're taking him. Nihat Pinby from Turkey. Pinby showed tremendous athleticism in the draft combine. It was 43-inch vertical, highest amongst all attending point guards. Yeah, we're going to have the next Derrick Rose. Approximately 10 hours later. I'm going to let the computer do the rest of our drafts. Or our, the rest of our picks. So let's go into rookie signing. So here's everybody we picked up in the NBA draft. Our cap room is minus 62 million, but I think they're counting Eric Steele right now on that. I mean, we're not going to be very good, but have too many players on the main roster. Wrong? All right, sorry, Dean. Sorry, Yuri. The Bronx Brawlers would have too many players overseas. The maximum allowed is three. What? Who made that ruling? That's messed up, dude. We should be able to have as many players overseas as we want. That's bull crap. Shade and Sharp. Where are these guys coming? What? You guys aren't on my team? No, get out of here. You guys are free agents. Qualifying offers. 
see you, Eric. It was nice knowing you, buddy. Let's see how we do this first season. And if we need to, we'll make some adjustments. We will 100% make some adjustments. First things first, let's take a look at our... Okay, so we're a mediocre team. That's not good. Hopefully these guys, especially Jimmy Towns. I'm looking at you, Jimmy Towns, with your freaking... All your tattoos. Man, everybody, everybody on this team's tatted up. Holy cow, everybody's tatted up. Who told, who told him that that was a good tattoo to get? We're going to simulate this season, see how things go. I, I'm not expecting anything great. We're already 0-5, 0-6. The season is over. Power rank 27th. I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and see what we can do here. Artem Markov, Rookie of the Year. I mean, we our guy didn't even win. None of our guys won Rookie of the Year. We got half the draft class. How does that work? I mean, we got the whole NBA rookie first team, but you better believe this guy is the rookie of the year. Give me a break. He's five foot ten. I tower over that guy. I'm six one. I tower over this guy. He's he's the rookie of the year. Suck my balls, game. We did not make the playoffs. What's our record? Oh, we're abysmal. Look at all the New York teams. All terrible. All right. Well. You know what? I'm going to end this episode here. I thought building through the draft would... And who knows? Maybe it, maybe things will get better. But right now, it's not looking too hot. De'Aaron Fox is your NBA Finals MVP. Wizards win the NBA Finals. So I'm going back to the drawing board. And in the next episode, I'm going to try and figure something out. We're going to change things up a little bit. And we're going to see if we can build an NBA champion. Maybe I just have to wait for these guys to progress a little bit. I mean, it was their first year. They got to get used to everything, so we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!